is Zita here with Hero Smart Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Today's lesson from our Bible journal, Bible journey class is going to be Adam and Eve and the sneaky snake. So we're going to learn about two separate events in today's reading. Let's open up a word of prayer and we'll get right into it. We thank you, Lord, for this time. We have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good work. So um, today we're going to be reading Adam and Eve, and then we'll read Sneaky Snake. Let's get started. God named the first man Adam. God put Adam in a beautiful garden. He gave him all the animals. He gave him all the fish and the birds, too. Then God gave Adam one more thing. God made a woman to be Adam's wife. Adam named his wife Eve. On day seven, God rested from all his work. Uh-oh, something bad was about to happen on the earth. Do you know what it is? Well, if you were in TOS Friday last week, then you know what that bad thing was. We'll also read the sneaky snake. God gave Adam and Eve just one rule. Eat anything you like, except the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. A sneaky old snake came to Eve. Eat it, and then you'll know everything just like God. So Eve ate the fruit and gave some to Adam, and he ate it too. When we disobey God, it's called sin. There are always consequences when we disobey. Isn't there a consequence for every act of disobedience? There is. There is an, a consequence attached to that. So we, wanna, we want to activate God's blessings for every act of obedience and try to not <laughs> disobey God by leveraging the grace that he provides us in our lives every day. I have a question I wanna leave you with, two questions, just to give you something to think about and be sure to journal it in your writing journal if you have one. From the first question, what all did God give to Adam? Mm. From the second story, um, what did the sneaky snake tell or suggest Eve to do? What did Sneaky Snake tell Eve she should do? Think about that. Be sure to write it down just to make sure you, you, under, you understand. Thank you so much for coming to class for being a part of today's reading. Until tomorrow, God bless. I'll be your hero's body And as you study with Hero Sport I will be your friend